So, made it up to, where are we? Skipton area, Yorkshire. It's amazing. Matt's a great guy. His family are cool and they are lucky enough to live here. Just gorgeous. So, we're getting ready to fly tonight and uh, it'll be new for me flying over land that isn't flat. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, stopped at Matt's, met everybody, quick coffee and then bang, straight in the cars and we're off to his field to fly from. It's gorgeous around here, it really is. You don't realise how flat your home area is until you're going down hills like this. Gravel tracks and a knackered old jag. The Matt's only been flying a few months, but he got through his training fairly quick. I think the weather was a lot better for him than it was for me back in October. And he flies around here obviously so he knows the difference between flat areas like where I fly and hilly areas with regards wind, turbulence, etc. And he drives around these roads like a local. I can't keep up. Testing, testing. Okay, let's not have any silly mistakes. Oh, I've got plenty of fuel in there. Matt just does reverse launches, I just do forwards. Okay, so I reckon it's borderline forward stroke reverse. One, two, three, four, five, trims in, six, chin strap is seven. Let's grab some A's and get in the sky. Wind is good, it's going to be it. A full on commit for pull up. Centered on the wing. Let's get it up there. Kill. Kill switch not working. Kill switch not working. Ah, there's the first time for that. So now I've got to take my machine off with it still running. Not ideal. Oh, you f look at that. That's come off of there. Tiny spade clip come off the back of there. That needs crimping up. Let's try that again. Okay, let's get this engine started again. Right, no messing around. Let's get off the ground. There's a lull, centred on the wing. Let's do this. Whoa! This is messy. That was not tidy at all. Still a little bit gusty. Okay, so turbulence is something I need to be aware of up here with all these hills, etc. Wires down there. Out. It's certainly beautiful. It's 
so that was a problem with my kill switch. Some spade connectors on the back of a uh, sort of master kill switch that's been added onto the machine. Uh, one of them has slipped off, so I think I could land with power on. Not too, not too much of a problem. Be nice if the winds have dropped by the time we get back. Yeah, there's areas of rotor here. Do a practice landing here. I reckon I'm going to come in along this road. Here it goes. Go, Matt. Go, Matt. Nice reverse. Oh no, boy! It's flopped again. It's tricky up here. You know? Tricky. Let's do it. Right, we're following that track apparently. All I can hear on the radio is just clicks. Still a bit rowdy up here. I think I'm going to trim out a bit. Give myself a bit of chance. fresh up here. I'm just going to follow Matt and enjoy the scenery. Oh, it's rocky up here. I kind of want to go in there, but I think we'll stay plenty high enough. Yeah, every time I think, oh, I'll just go a bit lower, bumps come. scenery. There's a reservoir down there. Matt's place is at the other end of that, I think. I think I'll stay up here for a while. Well, that's the first time I've been worried about collapse, you know. Getting batted around by one like that. I think his wing is faster than mine. Need a sort of bit of trims just to keep up. Perhaps this is some ridge lift. Possibly. 
this whole landscape is new to me. It's beautiful there. with a bit of weight on the brakes. Trims in. Nidersdale, that's the area this is. Well, calm down a little bit now. So planning to fly tomorrow morning as well and take off from the bottom of that valley over there. The wind should be coming straight down the valley apparently, so take off towards that. Holy Lord, is it cold. I'm going to need to up my clothes game. Oh, my teeth are gritted all the way. That was that was a difficult flight. Stressful, I think, because I don't know the area. I'm used to flying over flat ground where the, the wind is quite, you know, predictable. You get rocked around in gusts and things, but or through shear layers. But here it changed with every every little contour. 
uh, I hope it's calmer tomorrow because all those moors over there, there's nothing there, you know, there's no first vehicle structures, etc. Probably nice and easily get low over there. But not in this, not in this weather. It's a little bit rocky, turbulent. Well, that's a house down there. What a place to live. <laughs> it's like something from Cowboy film. Right, I'm going to go and land because I'm cold. I think where I'm going is just around this corner here. It's going to be an interesting land. Let's not break anything. Yeah, there's a sock. Get this seat folded away. Yeah, the wind looks like it's changed, you know. Oh, I can't tell what way that sock's facing. Okay. Look at it switching around. I'm going to go over there, come back along this road, and turn in. Get down, wing. Land on my feet. Here he comes. Beautiful. So I'm up. Go find some coffee.
Thursday really because Friday is the PMC board chasers flying. But all that apart, what a nice guy Matt is and his missus to just have me up. Never met me before. Had me up to stay. Had a great flight last night. Flying over things I don't get the chance to fly over back home. He's got a great setup there, the guy's winning. Holiday cottage that I stayed in. They've got a, a big bunkhouse, the rest of that building is a 20 bed place where groups of people can go. It'd be a great place for uh, paramotors. Get 20 guys up there, or girls. So I'll put links to his, his stuff below. The cottage, the bunkhouse, and I think he's got another bunkhouse over the other side of the moor. Flying last night, it, the turbulence happened. It was unexpected to me because I didn't know the way the wind went over the landscape. Matt's obviously used to it, he knows where it's going to come. Uh, so he gets up high before it happens, or whatever. So, But it was a great, it was a great, great flight. I 